I do not want to fit in a mold at all. Tiff Choate. I'm an artist, painter, muralist. I run a company called Snail Candy Art Studio. Yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't always pay to be clever. My first business name was Art T. Choate, like artichote. <laughs> I thought it was so clever and then no one could find me. So I needed to undo that, rethink, and you know, then I became Snail Candy and I like it. always had to have something going on that I'm building or creating or making or doing or drawing ever since I was a little kid. I like to get involved in these little projects that are around and I don't know if I'm not working on this I want to be working on something. I've had a lot of different jobs I mean like I've been a plumber I've been a restaurant manager, <laughs> but then when my kids got into high school, I was like, I kind of put more energy into it. Started doing murals and started doing stage backdrops and anything where I could paint. <laughs> and so I guess probably full time was about four years ago. I'm like, put everything else aside, stop doing weird jobs and, <laughs> you know, just take it on. I don't know if I started a new style as much as I just started doing what I wanted to do, which was like full on color. And it's sort of like, it never stopped. I uh, look at things <laughs> and uh, my brain picks things apart. I see a lot of colors and stuff and like my brain pulls it apart and then like recreates it with this like fantastic alternate color combo. I don't know, it just comes from within. I'm not really sure why. You know, after I started painting, I started looking at it like, does anybody else paint like this? It came from this critic. He called this band of artists like phobes, which means like wild beasts, because they were not painting those traditional Rembrandt, everything, you know, and I'm like, that's me, that's me, you know, like, I'm a phobist. I just, like, I don't want to fit in. So, I mean, I, I went to school for graphic design. I did not get any painting training. This is like, I guess I'm self-taught because <laughs> I just liked it, and so I did it. Starts with a sketch, I draw on pencil on my canvas and it looks a lot like, well, my father describes it as a paint by number <laughs> because, you know, like I have all these little blocks and, and boxes. So what I see when I, when someone gives me a photograph, if I'm doing a commission, is like all the little pieces of color <laughs> that are in it. And so are like, my mind sort of separates them all. I usually fill my whole palette with all the colors I have, there's never enough colors. I don't know, I'm just like, how many colors can I use on this one? <laughs> I, I do commissions a lot, pretty much back to back all year. I love the commission life. I do, I get to work with people. I like to deliver paintings if they're local so that I can see people's homes and meet their families and get to know them. And in the process, I talk to them a lot and I learn stuff about them. And, and by the time I bring them their painting, I'd say 90% of my clients cry. Like that's, you know, that's my favorite thing is to make people cry. <laughs> like it's the ultimate compliment. And it's because they've kind of invested in this whole, you know, this whole process of getting this piece and then, then when they end up getting it, it's like everything that they told me about is embedded in this painting and it, I don't know, it's kind of miraculous. And I paint probably between 11 and 4 a.m. because I'm like, I gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is never clear ever like there's always something rolling off of it so i've refined what i'm doing for sure i feel i feel more confident about 
you know, taking on people's projects and giving them something they like. I, I kind of hope that like if somebody's going to hire me to do a commission, it's because they're already familiar with what I do and they already like it. And so they've already like, they've got an idea in their mind anyway. I'm not going to change it. They already know what they're expecting, you know, and for me, they're expecting like lots of colors. <laughs> For Lafayette, there's, it's rather easy because this is an art community. It's, be, it's kind of developed as one. It's, it's up and coming and with the Alley Art Amazing, it's kind of known by the locals and it's kind of special and people have walked the alleyways and so they've seen pieces. And so we have requests. It's not that hard to, to get, like we could paint, we could paint for years as many people that would want to get involved. You know, I just started, I started painting, you know, people's sheds and garages and it was so much fun. And I was like, I love painting, I love painting. <laughs> I know, it's not like, I mean, I have to. I have like, it's, it's in there, I have to get it out. I mean, I'm running out, of, I'm running around, what I need to do is find more walls that are not mine because I'm going to paint. I am literally painting on five paintings right now. <laughs>